surface treatment is a generic term for physical or chemical job procedures in which a damaged or replaced body panel is renovated in order for successful implementation of surface coating. Surface treatment is an important process because it usually greatly influences painting quality. In this film, we will explain the basic procedures for substrate surface treatment. The surface treatment includes five procedures, namely the accessing the damaged zone, removing the old coating, sanding the feather edges, cleaning and degreasing, and applying the epoxy primer. Now we are going to describe the steps in turn. Assessing the damaged zone. First, clean and degrease the panel. Spray degreaser using a solvent sprayer to dissolve residual oil on the surface and wipe the panel surface using clean wiping paper. Inadequate degreasing may result in fish eyes and peeling. Necessary cleaning of the panel can aid people to judge the damaged area on the panel and avoid omitting any damage during identification. Assessing the damaged zone. Evaluate the damaged position of panel by eyeballing, touching, pressing, and straight rule and confirm that the panel is free of any positions higher than the undamaged surface of having minor tensile force. Mark damage zone. In order to visually confirm the damaged zone, mark the damaged positions on the steel panel. The outer boundary of damage is generally annular, so markings made on the steel panel should be round. Excessive marking errors can affect the quality and efficiency of the putty shaping. If the boundary of the mark is smaller than the actual damage zone, such a relatively low part may be formed between the surface which is applied with putty and the undamaged surface. If the boundary is larger than that required zone, putty grinding may take a relatively long time, so as to reduce the work efficiency and result in material waste. Removing the old coating. Removing the old coating. Removing the old coating is intended to enable the putty to achieve the best adhesion. The coating in the damage zone may have been stripped from the steel panel and gotten convex. It is necessary to remove the coating from the damaged area completely and to remove all the rust in the damaged area since rust may lead to defects such as blistering. Remove the coating from the marked zone. Use a single acting grinder fitted with number 60 to 80 sandpaper to grind the surface and adjust the mill speed before grinding. In order to eliminate the steps between the coating and the surface of the steel panel as far as possible, you may tilt the grinder. Allow the grinder to touch the surface of the steel panel so as to avoid deep scratches once the rotating grinder touches the surface of steel panel and remove the coating from the zone marked by a circle. The damaged zones are usually round. Remove paint film and grind this zone. To grind the steel panel, hold the grinder at a correct angle. Remove the old coating and remove the dust. Grinding the coating by moving the grinder in a direction from steel panel to coating can hardly remove the wrinkles, and the coating may be overground so as to increase the width of the feathering edge. Sanding the feather edges. Sanding the feather edges. Make the feather edges to eliminate the steps between the steel panel and the old coating. Install number 120 to 180 sandpaper on a double acting grinder and adjust the grinder speed as required. Allow the grinder to touch the steel panel before you start it. Tilt the grinder. Allow the grinding pad to touch the steel panel in a position of about 30 millimeters and press the grinder against the surface. When viewed from above, 
the pad usually rotates in a clockwise direction. Grinding the coating by moving the grinder in a direction from the steel panel to the coating can hardly eliminate the steps. An excessive grinding of coating may increase the width of the feathering edge. As a general guideline, the width of the feathering edge required is about 30 millimeters. Upon the completion of feathering edge, it is necessary to continue grinding the appropriate width. Select number 240 sandpaper to grind the surface. Allow the edge of the grinder to exceed the feathering edge for 30 to 50 millimeters and move the grinder along the feathering edge. In addition to the feathering edge, the ground zones will also serve as a reference for uniform application of the putty. Error Case 1. Grinding the coating by moving the grinder in a direction from steel panel to coating can hardly remove the wrinkles, and the coating may be overground so as to increase the width of the feathering edge. 2. Allowing the grinder to rotate before it touches the steel panel to make deep scratches on the steel panel. Wipe off all dirt or dust from the surface of the panel and use the reverse pasting method to stick the masking paper. Use the solvent spray kettle to spray degreaser onto the area where the primer is to be applied. Use a wiping cloth to clean the surface of the panel. Primer is used to improve the rust resistance of the exposed metal area and enhance the adhesion of the putty. Whether or not to apply the primer depends on the types of putty selected. Spray epoxy primer using a spray gun to the bare area of the sheet metal and never fail to dry the sprayed coating according to the product manual. Otherwise, it will cause slow drying. Drying the primer. Epoxy primer gets dry slowly. Bake the applied coating using an infrared baking lamp. If the primer is not thoroughly dried, peeling might happen. Finally, through the introduction and learning of the above content, we hope that you could master the standard construction process and operation skills of the surface treatment of the substrates and can apply and improve them in practice proficiently.